Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. We're going to be going through how to get your money from PancakeSwap or MetaMask and back into CoinSpot. Now, I find that if you're using the Binance Smart Chain Network or on PancakeSwap, the best currency or coin you can get back into your wallet is USDT. Why is that? So if I, let's say you have some BNB inside your wallet. If I was to go to CoinSpot and I type in BNB in wallets and I go to receive, there's no correct address for me. So if I give this a shot right now, I can copy this receive address from CoinSpot. It actually won't let me send my BNB there. All right, as you guys can see, this doesn't work. So I find that the best uh, coin that you can send back to your coin spot is USDT because there's actually a generated address. So what I'm going to do is whatever coin I have inside my wallet, let's say I had BUSD, I'm going to switch that for USDT. Make sure that the minimum received is not too far from the estimated. I'm going to switch 280 B USD to 279 USDT. Make sure you confirm. It should be completed any moment now. Fantastic. We have successfully swapped 280 BUSD for 279 USDT. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send my USDT to CoinSpot. Now, if you cannot find USDT inside your assets on MetaMask, it means that you may need to import that coin to your wallet. Very easy way to do this is to go to import tokens and you can copy the token address. Now you can find the token address by going to coinmarketcap.com. And in the contracts over here, this is the Ethereum contract. We want to go to the Binance Smart Chain contract. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my MetaMask and add USDT on my assets list so I can see it. Now, for me, it's already done, but for you, it might not be there. Once you copy that address, these will automatically fill out, and then you're going to add custom token. Now, of course, if it shows up, then you're lucky. That's one less step to do. Now, once you can see your USDT inside your MetaMask wallet, you're going to click on it. You're going to click on send. And you're going to type in the receive address of CoinSpot into this bar over here. So let's go back to our CoinSpot account. You're going to go to wallets, type up USDT. And when you click on receive, there should be an address here. It says Tether USD address. Your address will look different to mine. The transfer network is either Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. So for us, this is the one we're going to use. Now, all we need to do is copy this address and send to CoinSpot. Right now, you also need to type in the amount that you want. For me, I just want to send everything. So I'm going to click next and confirm the transaction. Now, whilst this is pending, okay, I'm going to show you that right now inside my CoinSpot account, there is $0. But if we wait for just the next couple seconds, whilst this is still confirming, 
this should be inside my wallet in the next 10 seconds or so. Let's refresh a bit. And what we're going to do now, after we receive the USCT is we're going to sell the USCT. Then I'm going to transfer that to my bank account. Okay, as you guys can see, my USDT balance is 279. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell. Max, it says I'll get 374. However, remember there's a 1% fee that I need to pay. Confirm sell. If I refresh my wallet now, you can see that the money is over here in Australian dollars. Now, if I want to withdraw this money, I can go to the top right of CoinSpot and I can go to withdraw AUD. I can put in my BSB and account number, withdraw funds, confirm withdraw. And that's it. CoinSpot says that it will be processed on the next business date, but because this is an Australian exchange it, it's almost uh, in a couple hours all right so that is my tutorial today make sure you have the correct address when you're going to receive and hopefully today's tutorial helped you out from transferring money from pancake swap or metamask back into your coin spot wallet happy investing guys and peace out